Tesla rolled out a new set of autopilot features, semi-autopilot features, for its Tesla Model S cars. Jacob Brogan wrote about the news for Slate and joins us to talk about it. Welcome to the show, Jacob. Hi. Thanks for having me, Mike. Thanks for coming on. Now, what do these new features let you do if, in fact, you get them and you drive a Tesla Model S? <laughs> well, what they, what they don't allow you to do is uh, read a book or... Uh, take a nap uh, while you're driving. Or as you pointed out, it won't drive you home when you're drunk. Alas, we're uh, we're still a few years away from that, uh, it sounds like. Um, what they are essentially is a kind of uh, uh, advanced cruise control feature. So they pay attention to uh, where you are relative to other cars on the road, the speed of those cars. Um, they pay attention to what's off to the sides and help with collision avoidance. Uh, and and they can even uh, help with lane changing. Though there, uh, they'll only do that if you if you signal uh, for the car to change lane in the first place. So they still require, uh, alas, an actively engaged uh, driver uh, behind the wheel. They're not autonomous, or at least not yet. And for somebody with the Model S, they can just download this as an update for their car. That's my understanding. Yeah. Um, but uh, a number of tech journalists are, are trying the, the features out uh, this week. So more kind of reports that are, are rolling in both and, and from, from regular users. Don't be ridiculous. Journalists can't afford Teslas. They, 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 they're probably <laughs> using Tesla's cars, right? They're they Tesla's. are using okay. cars, yes. All right. So, um, <laughs> so I've read about this story, and there's something profound about it I don't understand at all. Basically, they're saying that it'll keep you in your lane, and it'll change lanes for you. It does, you know, that's a little slice of self-driving cars right but you got to keep your hands on the wheel i don't understand how it's controlling the lane location and you also have your hands on the wheel are you fighting for control of the car what's the uh, deal with a, a, a sort of an autopilot well, thing where you have to keep your hands on the wheel yeah i, I mean i haven't tried it out uh, obviously um and in fact part of my own uh, enthusiasm uh, for these uh, self-driving vehicles is that i'm not uh, as I've admitted in other articles, not actually a, a driver or so. Uh, but but it seems like uh, they want you to have your hands proximate to the uh, to the wheel. But uh, but, you know, in the, these videos you see uh, people are uh, keeping their hands uh, off of it and then just occasionally uh, reengaging with the with the wheel uh, as necessary. So it's doing a lot of the work uh, for you uh, and uh, and doesn't seem to, to require a lot of uh, fighting. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, just stepping in uh, to help out as necessary. So seeing this, um, this cruise control feature, so what do you think is possible with Tesla's in terms of making them self-driving? Like the existing Model S's, could they be upgraded at some point to be self-driving cars? Sure. Well, what Elon Musk has suggested is that uh, for them to be truly self-driving, uh, they would need, and, and I think we would all agree that this would be ideal, uh, a lot more redundant systems. Uh, so um, you need to, to make sure that if one set of cameras fails or one set of one set of sensors fails, that uh, that others step in uh, uh, so that the car uh, remains safe uh, on the road. Um, one thing I think we'll also see in uh, the next few years uh, is a lot more integration between cars uh, and urban infrastructure. Um, so BMW, for example, recently debuted a product with uh, Connected Signals, which is a small company in Eugene uh, that uh, uh, kind of intersects directly with um, traffic lights uh, and lets, uh, lets your car know when the light that you're approaching uh, or at is going to change. Um, and I think as we see uh, regulations that allow more of those kinds of uh, kind of interfaces between between vehicles uh, and and infrastructure, uh, these kinds of systems will become easier to implement. And even these features that in the Tesla require a certain uh, elements of infrastructure. Uh, Elon Musk was heard complaining that uh, in LA there's some lanes that look kind of sloppy where they have the little those little bumps, the reflective bumps, and they're not quite with the lane, and so the car got confused, and he was complaining about that. Uh, as one of the challenges, so um, yeah, so I think we're, you know, I think, I think that the uh, the fully self driving car will be three years away for at least the next five years. So uh, yeah, he sometimes <laughs> says three, sometimes says six. So exactly, we'll 
We'll see. My colleague Kevin Roos wants us to ban human driving by 2017. It's probably a great idea. And uh, we should probably ban lots of things. How about banning human police uh, departments and, and have robots uh, like RoboCop? That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> Jacob Brogan's at Slate.com and, and also at JacobBrogan.com. And you can find him on Twitter at Jacob underscore Brogan. Jacob, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much, Mike. Bye-bye. Right, it's a pleasure.